Namaste. Hello, my dears and my wonderful subscribers. Welcome. Здравствуйте, дорогие друзья. С вами снова я, Махараджа Александр, и моя драгоценная жена Арчена. Здравствуйте. Арчена – это ясновидящая из Индии. Арчена – это человек, который путем глубоких медитаций получает для нас божественные послания на самые важные события, которые происходят в современности, и делится этими посланиями с нами. Humanity is at a very important crossroad. And what we are witnessing right now, we are witnessing, the humanity is witnessing, that we are in the middle of the chaos of a breakdown of a system, of all the system and of the civilization that is not sustainable. And the humanity, it's, it's in the process of the rebirth, the process of the rebirth of the dying of an old energy and uh, we are um, proceeding to this phase of the new beginning and this is a process this is a long process Archana, i heard that torah it's a ancient jewish book predict a big falls that uh, in end of 2021 in autumn 2021 a real horror will begin on the earth uh, what do you see about this? Is it really something catastrophic for humanity waiting us in autumn 2021? Particularly on this date of autumn 2021, uh, I don't see the big event of the catastrophe uh, where the humanity will perish forever. I don't see of uh, such event. But um, what I see here is that we are in the process, this is the process um, of the destruction of the, our planet Earth and the destruction of the civilization, of the modern civilization. Because the modern civilization was merely based on a lot of stress uh, on the survival. And uh, since there is a lot of stress in every area and in, in every aspect of the life, this is on the breakdown and also we are coming to an end uh, of the matrix the matrix of the delusion what people believe in in the 3d matrix and this is a very powerful transition this is a process of the rebirth the process of the rebirth uh, because the old is dying and it is making a portal for the new so what you are seeing with the, what the humanity is seeing right now the chaos of the breakdown of the system when i say the system the whole system and the civilization itself uh, because uh, the civilization and the system is not sustainable anymore to this new energies so what i see uh, in the coming future in the very near future so globally i see there will be a lot of protest and uh, there'll be a lot of um, people are coming uh, to the awareness of the truth and they are seeing through this uh, 3D matrix and they are seeing through the illusion, uh, the lies which has been told to them. And uh, it is not only happening in one country, but it is happening on the global scale where people are now recognizing the truth and they are slowly waking up to the truth. And uh, when uh, the thing that what you are seeing now uh, in the televisions or what is happening around the globe this is not a coincidence and the moment has come uh, for the justice to be served and uh, this is kind of like uh, a spiritual war which is going on and also the war on the energetic level and all of these things will eventually is leading to a mass awakening mass awakening because pe before people were just following the commands which has been given to them uh, but now uh, due to this new frequencies to the due to this new lights codes which are already entered on the earth this is um, helping uh, humanity to raise to the higher vibration and to see the divine truth mm -hmm. Archana, um, in russia in the many part of the russian uh, uh, many ecology, big, big ecology problem exists. There is so much uh, human polluted uh, earth, nature, and so many ecology catastrophes already going in Russia, already. So what you see in the future? 
Do you see some big, big uh, ecology catastrophe in Russia, like uh, Chernobyl atom station, where atom station blast and uh, radiate uh, polluted uh, big, big territory? Do you see that, like um, from this, many, many people will die, or maybe you see huge, huge hurricane, or maybe you see flood, uh, or maybe something else, which maybe meteorite will fall down on some territory on Russia. Do you see something globally big catastrophe, ecology, ecology catastrophe in Russia in the next 20, 30 years? The humanity will be witnessing something that we have never seen in the history of the humankind. And we will be witnessing a lot of hurricanes around the planet Earth. A lot of floods will be happening and there will be a lot of uh, earthquake uh, which will be happening and uh, but what I see is that uh, this um, events which I have mentioned um, I don't see that uh, this is something uh, very very huge uh, but this is something on a smaller scale on a smaller scale uh, what uh, the humans uh, has to bring into their own consciousness is that we have already cross the red line in regards to the environment in regards to the nature and uh, the humanity has uh, spoiled and destructed the nature and killed the nature to an extent where the process uh, is irreversible and our planet has deeply wounded and she is a being just like humans just like any other beings on the planet and uh, she is at the process in a deep healing process so what we have to educate um, is that human beings have to take responsibility for their actions towards uh, towards the nature and uh, they they are responsible for their own consequences and um, what we have to really recognize is that we have to change in our consciousness we need to bring this radical change in our consciousness and the behavior towards how we approach towards the nature or how we behave towards the nature because if we don't take any action at the moment or in the near future from now on we're going to see a serious consequences for these actions what i definitely see in regards to this issue is that people they have to make a radical change in their consciousness because the problem that the world is facing right now and the humanity is facing right now due to this ecology uh, catastrophe this has happened and this is the manifestation from the human beings so the moment has come for people now and they have to make a radical change in their consciousness by taking care what they have already damaged so what i see the thing what they have already damaged it is no possible to reverse this and uh, mother earth just like human beings she's a living being just like us and but she has a very big uh, body so at the moment she is in the process of healing and uh, what she has already given so much of support for the for the life um, to sustain life for humanity and for every living beings uh, which have been living on the planet earth so now is the time that humans should take some responsibility and uh, offer her some kind of uh, support and uh, this uh, how it can be done is that when each individual is educated in this field uh, they can help and they can contribute in some way they can uh, individually um, but the the damage that they have done to the planet i see this process is irreversible it is not possible to reverse and uh, for this we're going to see the consequences uh, if not now uh, for the next future generation, I definitely see uh, the situation is very, it will be worsening more and more and the, this crisis will be going even more deeper. Archana, uh, uh, in the world now, few very, very hot spots which can blast anytime and bring big war. Like the most hottest spot, it's Donbass in Ukraine. Around Donbass, always boiling some very hot, hot energy, which can involve in this process NATO and Russia, and it can cause Third World War. Other hot spot, very hot, is Taiwan, near China border, where 
America and China's conflict growing up more and more bigger. And third, it's between China and India and some other hot, hot spot in our world boiling. So what you see in next uh, 50 years, it is, uh, some of this sport can cause really third world war, which can kill a big part of humanity. The energies are indicating, in regards to this problem, the energy is indicating of an, a volcano which is boiling, which is brewing underneath the surface. So the energy of the Ukraine in regards to Russia, uh, it is a very, very dense and it is a very, uh, very heavy energy. Uh, what I also see here is that this is a great delusion uh, for the Ukrainian um, for the Ukrainian country uh, in expecting uh, to get any sort of support uh, from the foreign influence. Uh, in regards to this, I definitely see that uh, they will not be getting uh, any kind of support uh, from, the, from the United States or even from the uh, European Union. So th they are in a great delusion and uh, in hoping to get, in expecting to get uh, support and help uh, from these foreign nations, they are creating this problem with Russia, which can lead in the near future. I definitely see this is something very inevitable. Uh, at the moment, the energies are indicating um, the, they are uh, the energies of a lot of triggering, triggering uh, for the civil war. But I don't see that uh, this uh, situation with Ukraine can lead to a third world war. And uh, what I see in the, in the field, uh, in regards to China, uh, I see that inside the country uh, there is uh, also the energy of volcano which is brewing up and I see in the near future China is at really danger in the danger to uh, have a separation inside the country. So there is a lot of uh, conflict which, is, uh, which are going on inside the country uh, but obviously these uh, informations are um, filtered uh, to, the, to the world. But nevertheless, uh, the problems are taking place inside the country. Mm -hmm. um, uh, many uh, experts say that uh, human population is over for this planet now. So what do you see in the next 50 years? Human population will still grow or it will be reduced? Uh, the number one reason for the uh, growth of uh, civilization, for the growth of uh, humanity is due to ignorance. Because uh, they are producing even without their conscious awareness and it is all happening uh, unconsciously. And uh, for this, again, uh, there will be consequences again for this. Um, Human uh, always want to get rich, more and more money. This is uh, goal. This is uh, goal of most of the country now getting rich China and uh, now getting rich India, and it's more and more polluted. Is it possible to change this pattern? Is it possible to stop this desire for human to be more and more rich, or is it will finally kill humanity? As far as the human, as far as the humanity is focused on the material world, this will only lead to more destruction and this will only lead to more chaos and this will lead to nowhere. So how this can be changed is only through spiritual awakening, only through uh, coming to this uh, inner state of knowing that richness will not provide you, will not uh, satisfy you on your soul level. And if every human is trained in by awakening spiritually, um, by awakening, what happens is that the human consciousness is expanded so that they can see above uh, the things which are happening. So the light is shed. So people will be enlightened about uh, various problems, about various issues. So uh, I, uh, what I see, uh, ignorance is uh, the number one cause for all this uh, catastrophe, for all this uh, destruction and of uh, overpopulation. So as far as the human is, uh, as far as the human is concentrated on the material wealth, because the material wealth and the richness has 
kind of like poison the human soul and this is the moment where people have to wake up and see the truth for what it is because we are here as a guest on the planet earth we are and planet earth doesn't belongs to us so we have to respect the existence of nature we are here only for a certain period of time and after this we have to go from here so what are you taking while you are going away from this planet all you take is only your consciousness so this is the time that humanity has to walk on the consciousness rather than running behind the material wealth which is a delusion which is an illusion which is a matrix which is a deep spell thank you very much archena mm -hmm. archena uh, every year we hear new and new version about date of end of the world you know very well that uh, people expect end of the world in 2000 after in 21st december 2012 mm -hmm. after in 21st december 2020 and many many other date uh, please say is it written somewhere in the sky or somewhere else uh, date which fix like date of end of the world and uh, you see is it uh, is it this date in 21st century or some other century is it exist this date it's written somewhere in scripture of the divine of god when it's finished mm -hmm. what humanity has to uh, understand very deeply um, is that we are both sovereign beings and at the same time we are subjected to the higher forces which means we are subjected uh, by the higher forces uh, without our own will and at the same time god has given us free choice to choose between fear or love between bravery or freedom and in regards uh, to the end of this world uh, what i see very precisely and very accurately is that I don't see uh, this radical uh, ending of the world will happen just like in a one st in a one night. No, this is a rather uh, a radical progress. It's it's a process. It takes a long time. So what is happening right now? All these things are leading uh, eventually um, to the end of the civilization. But this takes many generations. Um, but I don't definitely don't see that uh, this this even can happen just in one day and everything is perished on the planet. Thank you very much, Archana. Ну что ж, давайте поблагодарим Арчена. Спасибо Арчена за это важнейшее послание. Спасибо вам, дорогие зрители, за внимание. Пожалуйста. Sending you all many blessings and many love. Посылаю вам много благословений и любви. Пожалуйста, напишите в комментариях все, что вы думаете об этом. Пожалуйста, поставьте ваш лайк, подписывайтесь на наш канал и не забудьте поделиться этим видео в социальных сетях. До новых встреч на наших видео!